high five to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome back to Combi Life. In this episode today, we are going to be a, doing a Q&A for you because last week we asked you to ask us a whole bunch of questions and there were a lot of them. So today we're going to be answering them for you. Instead of doing a boring Q&A sitting in our room, we're going to be taking you around Ben's home island of Jersey. Uh, so you can have a look at this beautiful island that we're in at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't take Boomerang out with us because we are building him at the moment for season two. We are rebuilding the interior. So that will be coming out in season two. Instead, we're going to be in this little beauty. <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know what it is. A car? <laughs> a Ford car. A Ford car. We're going to be filming the Q&A with the GoPro on top of the car so you can see it everything and inside we're going to be having a camera so you can uh, listen to us talk as well as seeing the uh, the sights. It's our professional gaffer tape that we use for our uh, scenes because we're pros. I'm driving right? I'm driving. Come on let me drive. No I'm driving. Do you know where you're going? I'm definitely driving. I'm driving. Woohoo! On the road. Just to give you guys a bit of a situational awareness, we are currently on the west of the island of Jersey, my home island where I was born. This is my side of the islands. I don't personally own it, although I feel like I do. And we're on our way down towards Saint Juan, the uh, surf district of Jersey. Continue, my love. Okay, so the first question I want to answer is, um, a lot of thumbs up for the question, how did Alaska do after the flight? So if you haven't seen the last episode of season one, we went um, on a flight from New York to France. Where's Alaska? Alaska's here. Alaska, how are you? Hello. So she's fine. She did really, really well on the flight, actually. She's a little trooper. Hey, Bobby. Honestly, um, that was our first big international flight. We were a little worried as anyone would be putting their dog onto a plane for... How many hours was that flight? I think it was like seven or eight hours. From uh, New York... New York to France, to Paris. Paris. Let's go down this road. Whoop. Oh, um, yeah, and she did really, really well. This this is a two-way street, by the way. Yeah, apparently. you can see. Yeah, so, you can, this is, are these, oh, daffodils. Uh, um, yes, the roads in Jersey are very small. The uh, maximum speed limit on this road is 15 miles per hour. And as Leah said, it's two ways. We're at the bottom of the airport right now. Airport to the right, um, agricultural lands to the left. Yeah, so Alaska did really, 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 really well. She um, was a bit tired afterwards, but she was happy to see us when she, when she, when we got her from the airport. And yeah, you'll see in the first episode of season two how she did more in more detail. Which, by the way, I've got to say, if you're in the combi crew, we just released episode uh, one of season two, so that is available on Patreon and to channel members. We'll get them out publicly as soon as we've got enough to release them weekly. Hmm. Yes. Very excited to be rolling season two. Big transformations for Boomerang and for us and our adventures start properly through Europe and down to Africa probably in season two, right? Yep. We're currently filming it. Look how nice this is. If you can't see the beach, because the beach looks beautiful today. Uh, it's a shame that it's a GoPro that's filming this because... Uh, well, you it, can't see that from well, It's there? really wide, isn't it? So. Uh. It would just be a speck in the distance. Anywho, next question please, my dear. Okay. Um, Keegan Marks said, hey guys, I just want to say that I love the videos. I was wondering if you'll ever upload twice a week. Oh, Keegan, like possibly you're asking. On, on a Tuesday or Monday. And a lot of you probably are thinking, can we release more than once yeah. a week? Um, yes, that would be a good aim for us to do once we start um, traveling again and doing the videos to do another episode like a, an adventure experts or a van life videos that you guys um, all like as well. Yeah, something a little easier to produce um, than the uh, episodes that we do because honestly they take weeks of work and we really put a lot of effort into making the story like the most important thing in, in those episodes. Yeah. So we can't do those multiple times a week as much as we would love to. It just, it just takes too much work. We're trying to keep the quality up on this channel. There's plenty of channels on, on YouTube that just pump out content because that's what the algorithm wants and they get really popular and stuff. We're trying to not focus on popularity and um, like that kind of traditional success and just really produce some quality content. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll get to two videos a week as Leah says, but 
Um, but they will be more like informative videos that we can just sit down and chat to you about certain subjects. Um, that will be, yeah, a, a, our aim to do that. Just wanted to point out that this at this time of the year in Jersey, everything, the whole island just turns into one big potato farm. You see all the plastic, I think you can see the plastic fields. Um, that's uh, the little microclimate for our world famous Jersey spuds, um, which are absolutely delicious, let me tell you. I can't believe the whole island, it's like everyone's yard turned into potato fields. <laughs> the whole place. It's really cool. Next question, my love. Okay. Um, how Daniel Hash says, how do you balance nailing video content, thank you, Nailed. and living? I mean, you can sometimes just be, can you sometimes just be fully present and not think, did I get the shot? That's a really good question because we question that to ourselves all the time. It's like, are we having a good balance in life and, and work? Um, are we, you know, every day is kind of like filming or doing something to do with the videos and do we have a good balance and can we experience it on a different level than I reckon you know, thinking you, about getting the shot? I think you and I would have a different answer to this. Yeah. I personally feel like we do experience um, a lot and a lot more than we'd be able to if we weren't travelling. Ah, two way road. Yeah, how did, what happens here? So one of us reverses. He's reversing. It's so weird. <laughs> and then he leaves me a little gap on the side and I wave to him and say that's it and I've got Thank enough you. thanks mate cheers that's insane. I'm so glad you're driving now yeah there you go that would have freaked me out um, yeah I think that's a really insightful question because um, a lot of people just don't really appreciate the amount of work it takes to capture a lifestyle like daily life or you know events that happen for a YouTube channel it does take a lot of work we often have the camera Many times we'll be, we, we won't capture something because we just decide like this is just for us. Generally, if anyone else is um, trying to document their lives, I find that it's always best to experience the moment yourself, like a look around a place, you know, try to take everything in and then afterwards go and film something from that place for your video. Not walk around and see everything for the first time through the lens. Oh, look at the daffodils. No. So pretty. So nice. This time of year, wild, there's daffodils all over the island. Wild daffodils. Um, should we get one? Should we get one? Go on, jump out and get one. Oh, wait, you can't. The microphone's there. The camera's oh. there. Oh. That's all right, we'll get one later when we later. go to the post office. Yes. Um, anyway, yeah, so we're always working on that balance of, uh, you know, real time versus um, kind of for the story. We want you guys to be there on the adventure with us always and you experience the adventure like you're there with us and we work really hard to make sure that we do that but it's important to have life like to live life not live for youtube yes i agree yes <laughs> guys sending out your stickers it's going into this post box to you around the world we've got singapore canada usa brazil flipping everywhere i can't believe how many of you have placed sticker orders we're so stoked on you guys showing your support for Combi Life. Please post us a sticker, a picture of where you put the stickers. Thank you very much. I hope these make it to you. Mwah. Um, the next popular question uh, is, well, one of them, George Stahl asked, will you be doing a car share style trip like you did in South and North America? Or will it just be you two and Alaska? Was that a, a car share? Car share. A car. <laughs> car share. So are we going to be picking up hitchhikers basically? This is one of the biggest questions that you guys ask. Probably going to be the title of the video, right? Yeah. So uh, you can skip to this point if you wanted to know that. Um, are we? Um, I don't think it would be like us or Alaska. I think that project you were doing mainly is like this social experiment kind of thing that you did for however many years. Um, do you still want to do something like that? Well, I personally feel that um, I've picked up enough hitchhikers, you know, for my lifetime. I've very much enjoyed the um, meeting different people and inviting them into my tiny little home and you know filming the stories that uh, developed because of that. But it is very, very, as you can imagine, very tiring to always have to have new people coming in. It's tiring anyway when you have a group of people in a small space, but when you have new people coming in and you have to tell them all the time, 
please don't close the door like that please um, do this please can you do that you know and explain to them how everything works and it, it's just very 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 tiring and it was also quite expensive for me as well because um, the the net result of picking up so many people was that I burnt through a lot of engines because I had a lot more weight and I never charged anybody for coming in the van with us so are we clear there I'm gonna go 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 go, go. Hello. No, she was waving because she was scared for her life there and also um, we obviously work a lot on the road so I think it was it was a lot of the times it was kind of I felt bad for the people that were in the bus while we were working and filming yeah. and they just had to be dragged along for like these long ass you know shots like can you wait here while we drive up and down the street 10 times to get the perfect shot yeah it's <laughs> working in my office ah you know there's some cooking going on back there huh? combi life behind me but no, this is my office today but, yeah towards the end it wasn't we, really fair for them i think towards the end i'd be um basically i'm gonna go down here to the beach um towards the end i'd be parking up in some national park and saying hey everyone go out for a hike for the day i'm gonna stay here and make a vlog um and it was difficult to manage that so anyway um, that doesn't mean that we're not going to be picking up any hitchhikers on the trip and it doesn't mean that we're not going to have other characters on the trip but it's going to take a slightly different format we still want to have the stories that come from other people because as interesting as we might be like we really feel like it's other people's lifestyles and other people's um, stuff things that they're doing around the world that we want to learn about and we want to share that story with you so um, hang on. Oh, yeah. We're down on the beach, going down on the beach. Oh. Uh, I should sit here and finish this question. Yeah. This is nice. This is nice. Um, so yeah, we'll be um, obviously meeting a lot of locals, which we love to do because we, we find out a lot about the place through the locals. And we are hoping to, you know, go on road trips or day trips with them so they can take us out and show us their town or village or area. That will be really nice. So you'll meet people that way. Yeah, we I hope think, to meet really. up with as many people as possible. For the Combi crew, we have an interactive map where you can put your pin of where you are in the world. And we're hoping to be able to do meetups with you guys and like come and explore your town. So if you're in the Combi crew, you're a channel member or a member on Patreon, then please stick an interactive uh, pin on our map so we can see where you are and where you're recommending for us to go because that's going to play a big part on uh, the types of people that we're going to meet on this trip and we're looking forward to sharing that whole story with you guys on YouTube. Yeah, so to answer that question, no it won't be a, like not like after Alaska where we pick up random people all the time and the people are coming in and out. Yeah. It's not going to be light light. It'll be we, we are still bringing hammocks and we are still bringing a tent for the occasions when we do pick up people um, and they want to come and camp with us. Yeah? Yeah. That's still happening. So, like, it's not, it's like a yes and no. It's, it's not the main uh, project. Um, as much as Astro Alaska was fun, this is just a different phase of life. And that's, that's, we're totally fine with that. Some people are going to be upset, but you guys don't have to live it. So, I mean, give us a break. I did it for almost six years. Okay, Bernardo asks, um, how hard was it to leave your regular jobs, life, family and friends to travel around the world how did you make that step um, I've always kind of been into traveling like traveling for six months at a time then coming back home and working and being with friends and family and then going out again so I did that for a long while so making the step to do it for longer for years at a time I've been working overseas um, a lot doing work and travel what do they call visas so it wasn't that much of a big change. It happens me. gradually, doesn't it? For, yeah, For it me, does. like I, I went to university because there's no university in Jersey, so I had to go to the UK. I was away for a few years, and once you get used to being away from home and your friends and your family, you realize you make new friends and there's added benefits to doing that too. So I just gradually started doing it for longer and longer. However, family connection is really important to us, and so we are trying to get home more often. Yeah, definitely the older that we're getting, the more we're focusing on spending time with family, I'm like not, making I'm, sure that we are. I'm not getting older. You're getting, you're getting old. I'm getting younger. Ooh. It's a Lindsay Pewitt, I hope that's how you say your name, uh, says, any advice for new nomads? We got lots of advice. Where do we start? She crikey, yes. We can do a whole video on advice for new nomads. Yeah, um, can we just uh, do that? Can we just make a whole video? Um, 
Yeah, so we'll, we can, oh, but what's, what's the main advice you can give for Nino nomads and then we will uh, do a video dedicated to that. Main advice is save up a buffer of money. I can't, I can't look backwards and forwards. Yeah, say, save some money. So we, both of us, when we went on our travels and started um, traveling for a long time, we saved up a lot of money. Um, to get us started. I also but think that if you're um, very early on, like if you're still studying or something, trying to find a career which can be nomadic opens up a lot of opportunities. So, Which is getting more common. Yeah, it's definitely getting more common. If you're already working for somebody, try to see if you can arrange to do a bit of part-time work um, from home. You know, like do some of your days from home um, or if you can maybe work for four days a week for that employer and then do one day a week for another employer like um, a lot of online apps are hiring and you can do that from anywhere so find location independent work um, for like part of your weekly work whilst you're still in a um, in one location so you can get that income you can get used to it and then go nomadic then take your lifestyle nomadic to try to go from a full-time job to full-time nomadic um, can definitely be done but you you will need to have a buffer of savings in case um, you are una unable to find employment. We will provide a lot more information on this because we have a lot, a lot of value to share for you guys to help you with living nomadically. So if you're new to the channel, I very much doubt you're watching this right now because these are all subscribers that subscribe. Question is from Chris Name and he's, uh, he said, when you started, how did you earn money on the road? Good question, Chris. Um, I basically didn't earn money on the road. I was traveling based off of uh, savings and trying to make them go as far as possible by um, living really cheaply in a van and sharing costs with people in South America. Um, I did do a few volunteer jobs, but most of the time that wasn't paid. In fact, all of the time that wasn't paid. Eventually I did monetize the channel by enabling monetization, but that wasn't until like season three or something of um, the Astro Alaska series so like after three years of of travel um and we've managed to grow the business by uh, you know a lot of hard work and now we work with a few different people to basically make the channel sustainable so we can continue to make the travel series one of the ways we do that is by working with partners on uh, who want to uh, advertise in our videos and so uh, thanks to squarespace for sponsoring this one Hey babes, did you know that there's a website used by all these different people like artists, photographers, even travelers like us, even superstar nomadic mechanics like yourself? That's great babe. Can I have a... Yeah, they're called Squarespace. You can create beautiful websites or an online store with their award-winning templates. Oh yeah, that's cool. I don't really have time to manage a website at the moment. <sighs> yeah, but that's the best bit, babes. It's an all-in-one platform. There's nothing to patch. There's no upgrades. They've even got award-winning 24-7 customer support. That sounds pretty good, actually. That means we get to spend less time on the website and more time doing the things we love, like working on the combi. Oh, but babes. You're getting so good at it. Go to squarespace.com slash combilife to get a free trial and 10% of your first purchase. Bonus question. Some of you have been asking what's what's going on with Boomerang and where's his emblem? I know we had so many people asking, like, put the emblem on the front of the bus already. People are damn right angry with us for uh, driving around without it. But there's a reason for it. We wanted that to be the this to be the final piece to put on Boomerang after everything's done. That's yes. gonna be like putting the crown on his head on his head. Yes. Like when he finalized. when he's more or less finished. Finished. Um we will be crowning it. So thank you for your repeated comments in every single video we upload with our bus. We will put a badge on Boomerang. He totally deserves it. He's just not ready for it yet, okay? Mm. In the meantime, guys, if you haven't seen all of our videos from our previous series, Astor Alaska, where we drove from Chile all the way to Alaska, it was about five or six years 
um, and it was a huge adventure. Absolutely recommend that you watch it. I will link a playlist up here so you can get into that and see what it's all about. Definitely worth a binge if you haven't seen it. Otherwise, we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, happy travels.